Hi guys, this is a review of the Michael Kors Bedford Tote, which is a uh, Gucci inspired. Um, it's the Gucci inspired by uh, the Gucci Suki Tote. Um, so here it is. So let's start with the dimensions. The height of the bag is 11 inches. The width of the bag is 17 and a half. The depth of the bag is six. The strap drop is seven and a quarter. The weight of this bag is a pound and 15 ounces. So it's um, a fairly weighty tote. I mean, that's empty without anything in it. Now, how this compares, um, if you are familiar with the Gucci Suki, the Gucci Suki, the width is 16 and a half. So very close in width. The height is uh, 12 on the Gucci Suki. So off by maybe an inch. Uh, the depth is pretty similar, five and three quarters versus six on this one. Uh, the Gucci Suki only has one pocket. Um, Michael Kors, as usual, improves on the inspiration. There's a zip pocket here, a slip pocket here. Sorry. Another cell phone pocket again. Couldn't fit an iPhone. Um, basically, lip gloss, lipstick, pens, whatever. Dog leash for your keys. Another slip pocket here, another one on this side. The lining is fabric, but mm, feels like it might have a little bit of a coating on it to resist, you know, water, water resistant maybe, water repellent. Um, magnetic snap closure and feet on the bottom. Um, the Gucci Suki tote is $9.95 to a, a little over $1,000. Um, the Michael Kors runs significantly less than that. I think it's um, three something. Um, the buckles on the front and back are non adjustable, so uh, decoration only. It has the Michael Kors logo, as similar to the Suki tote, which has a uh, Gucci hanging down. I'm 5'4". Um, I've never really been a fan of logo prints, monogram prints. Um, I say that, and as uh, some of you may have seen, I'm a big Louis fan, but um, I'm more of a fan of the Damier print. Um, <clears throat> basically, the only reason I own the monogram print is because the bags that I like only come in monogram. Um, if they came in Damier, I'd only have it in the Damier print. Um, Michael Kors, unfortunately, is almost exclusively a uh, logo signature. It's just, um, my opinion is, is uh, they make you pay so much for the bag and I don't feel I should advertise for free. And that's what logo print bags are. You're advertising for free. Not only did you pay for it, but now you're advertising for them. But um, unfortunately, sometimes there's no way around it. Um, Michael Kors has his logo on everything he has. Um, and I've never really been much on a fabric bag, a designer fabric bag per se, because I'm just worried about them getting dirty. Um, when I bought this, they also gave me a fabric spray to protect it. So hmm, we'll see how that works out. It's my first fabric bag. I'll say. Um, I will say that, not in this case, but um, usually the leather bags are so much heavier. That's why Louis Vuitton, I like his bag so much, because they're coated canvas, they are so much lighter. Um, leather bags, although they are wonderful, they uh, scratch very easily and they add a significant amount of weight to the bag. Um, uh, apparently, so does fabric, because like I say, this one's a pound and 15 ounces, so we're starting at almost two pounds empty. Um, luckily, I don't carry a lot of stuff, so we'll see how that works out. Anyway, let me know what your comments are. Thanks for watching. Bye.